Hello, welcome. Some might even say greetings. Uh, we will continue today with setting up the industries and the product product chains. Uh, continue what we uh, where we last left off yesterday. Hopefully, we'll get just as much done as yesterday, if not more. So, if you don't know what we're doing, uh, I've got a spreadsheet here with industries on the left, what freight they take in, and what they produce, so what they bring out, I guess. Take in, bring out, yeah, that makes sense. And we've set up uh, these so far. Uh, we've got quite a few more to set up. Um, so that's also a thing that we'll do. Now, lastly, we worked on New Panzan's New Bread. New Panzan's New Bread, which is over here. Uh, this, I don't know if I want to detail these areas yet, or if I want to do that later. Because if I did, like for example here, I, we modified this slightly, so that this is actually a flower unloading area. And this over here, uh, is a bread uh, loading area and all oh, right we need to still name these or name that one at least that's hold on okay that, that is correct so I'll I'll do a little bit of detailing but I don't want to take too much time so let's copy out the name so, new Panzans, new bread, and then we need in the brackets, I think it was these, these keys, square brackets, bread loader. Um, right, there's the stream title. Do those silos need to be closer to the tracks? Mm, no, I don't see why they should. I prefer having a little bit of space in between here. Now, as for getting the flower from here over there, I guess maybe a conveyor would be a good solution. Maybe we can use the same one that we used over here for these silos. Uh, okay, five minutes. Five minutes have gone past, have gone by since nine o'clock. So I'll keep an eye on how much time we're spending on this. Uh, it would help if I, there we go, if I could find the location, which I now have. And then I believe maybe using a, one of the towers here would be quite good because that would give a, a way for it to actually travel downwards. So, if we rotated this this way, and then have it be maybe like here, and that looks good. Maybe move it down a bit since we don't need it to be that high, just like that. Let's see if this works. I don't know that it will, but it might. The texture fits, that's great. However, I'm uncertain as to whether the old engine holds together. I uh, know, as to whether this actually looks good. Given the angle at which it at which it's going at which it's crossing the road. Hmm, that seems to be too long. <laughs> well, it might not shout ice, so it might. Yeah, I mean, it would, it might look better if we uh, made it go over to here, and then if we had another one of these towers there, and then have it go straight from this point.
So like this, and then just bring that from here over to there, and break that. Though I will need to fix the position of this slightly. There we go. And maybe have this one rotated like that. I don't know how the realistic this would be if you would split it like that. But if the if the company already owns this these two plots of land here, then it makes sense that they'd want to utilize both of it. And I guess if as long as it remains profitable, as long as the maintenance of having the uh, the conveyors doesn't outweigh the uh, the the amount of money they can make by utilizing the land that they have like this, then I guess it would work probably. Although that does still seem a bit long. Maybe I can have some more supports like here. Hold on, I thought I placed an object there. No, I did not want this one, I wanted that one. Although this does appear to be right in the entrance area to this other property here. Although I suppose you can navigate around that, probably. Or I might be able to put it in the middle of the road like this and then put like fancy road markings around it. That might be an interesting idea. Okay. Don't want to spend too long on this though. Let's see if that would look good. Okay, I think a, si a single solid would work. Have to raise it up. Just like that. Okay, I'll bring this over here. Then we'll need Another one coming around like that. Okay, so... Just did something like that. Is that aligned? It may be. <clears throat> Something like this, perhaps. Well, this needs to go a little bit to the left. Also, I've only just realized, look, it looks like there are old, worn-out stripes on this road. Like, in the middle, like, painted on stripes. Like, there's one, and there's one, and then up there's one, and like that. Hmm. Also, would this have a diagonal line as well, maybe? I guess it looks better with a, if I add like four of these or something like that. So just two like this and then two on the other side as well. one point there. Admittedly, it's a bit difficult to see at the moment. So, like that. There we go. I think that works quite nicely. It even adds a little bit of detail here. I don't know if maybe... 
bollards or something like that would be realistic for this, but I don't know. It also visually connects the two, so it's clear that this is one industry. Okay, you love that idea. Uh, one question, do silo conveyor belts look like this RL? I have no idea. Like the height at which they connect? I don't know. It might make more sense if... Hmm, I guess it might make more sense if it connected down at the bottom like this. Because that's how like it, it falls to the bottom, but... I don't know. That might work. Anyway, I can change this up later as well. This is just so that it... We have something here. Head further down though? Really? Even further? I mean, if the conveyor comes in from there, I would assume there'd be some space I hmm, maybe. I don't know. I thought I thought it looked better with a little bit of space there. But maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway. So right, we did that. Now I don't think that we set up the other breadery yet. So, well, um, we might have set it up, but I don't think we named it yet and things like that. So let's do that next. Uh, this up here. Ah, yes, because this also takes in sugar. So let's set up the flour side of things first, which is over here. Uh, actually, it looks like we already set up the... Yes, we already set up the actual flour part. So let's give this a name. What will it suggest? The, the Fango family breadery, like that? What do you think of that? The FFP. <laughs> eh? You're not convinced? Flower Hill Breadery. Mm. I don't know. It could it could just be Crosswood Junction Breadery. Or just Crosswood Breadery. I think this looks the most realistic. Nah, not gingerbreadery. I think maybe crosswood breadery is pr might be the best actually for this one because we've already got a, a flour pun. We've got the new Panzans new bread. So I think that works. Okay, so this is here and this is the flour unloader. Okay, so the, I think we said this takes seven carloads per hour. Uh, sorry, 17 carloads per hour. Yeah, because it's 33 in total, so that makes sense. So we need to put that up here as well. Cross wood readery. And this also takes the flower from the flower power incorporated. And it exports, let's just make it export the same amount of bread. I think, although, yeah, I think the same amount, judging by, well, thinking about how many cars I want to come out from up here, I think the same amount seems good. In which case, 
Oh, wait a minute, is this... Hold on, are we using the actual uh, industry object here that we're connected to? Oh, that, that's probably on the template layer, hold on. Oh, yes we are. I don't think that that's good because... Oh, we've got flour coming in. I think I'd rather set this up myself. Yeah, I'd rather set this up myself. So in that case, uh, I need to disconnect this then put on a multiple industry over the top of this. I'll put on the AJS eraser track. Multiple industry new. Needs to be rotated the other way. And I'll just put it over the top. Actually, which layer am I currently editing? Okay, temp locked. I'll put the multiple industry onto the normal root layer. So then, actually, I should probably connect it now while we're at it. Hopefully that won't mess up. Oh, it has. Look, it's put the... Look, it, it, it puts the bumper on the wrong end of things. Also, it seems to have now deleted the... Ah, okay. Hold on, I've got to exit out and go back in. Service pack 5! Wait, why not use the industries? Well, because I want... It's just easier for me to set up the numbers I want with a multiple industry. Especially since I also want uh, sugar to be delivered up here. Right, is this where... Oh, I thought I had saved afterwards. Come on, update. <clears throat> Let's just give it a few moments. There we go. Okay, so let's save it here. And then I can't attach this track to the track that I want to attach it to. So what I have to do instead is add a new bit of track, like so. Hold on. Did I not just do that? Does it need to update still? There we go, yes. Then straighten this. Oh, come on. It's taking so long to update the splines. Did I, did I, did I or did I not click on this? I did, okay. Now over here, I think I can get away with just moving it like, no I can't because the, the frogs. Mm. 
Yeah, and then I, I can move this over and straighten this by lining this up like so. Which is really annoying. TRS-19 definitely needs another bug fix update, although I don't know if it's going to get that because N3V support said that there are no further updates planned for this game, even though they left Mac users stuck with this. Yes, I'm not happy about this. Anyway, got this here, let's save. Now you can hide the bradery object to edit the model industry. I yeah I can, or I can just click it because the model industry just has a large um, uh, area, a hitbox area as well. Uh, that's not the right thing. Going to white copy that out. Um, crosswood bradery. Call it <coughs> produce loader because I'm going to. This is also going to actually maybe 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 it should just be bread. Even if we deliver sugar here as well, maybe that could be incorporated into the bread uh, product. So I think that would just make sense because then you can share cars as well with it. Let's have a look. How much uh, is this producing? So 49 and then 1 every 60 seconds. 49, 1 every 60 seconds. Hold on. Forty-nine, and then not only produces that, and then one every six seconds. Did I put it on the wrong side on the other one? I thought I had, I saw that it was on the other side on the other one. Hmm. Let's have a quick look. I think I might have done that wrong. One second. Yes, this way it consumes the bread, but it shouldn't consume it, it should produce it. So, like this. Okay. So... That's now been set up the same way, except that it takes a, a little bit more flour. Let's just say that it uh, exports more by... Uh, um, via a truck or something like that, or to the local community there. So, got that set up. Yes, I know, we'll still need to put in the, the sugar thing as well. But let's now hop over to the uh, find object menu to locate the next one. So these ones we've set up. Fresh pond oils, right. Interesting. Fresh pond oils. So, <clears throat> I think that these oil tankers are good. Let's have a quick look online if we can find out a little bit of history about them. Okay. Can I? Oh, that's really bad. The the actually it might be the width of the. Nope. The website is a bit broken. It appears. Ah, there we go. It's just not designed for such a narrow window. So products, tank cars. Hmm. 
Mm, I think these might only be modern ones we've got listed here. Um, hold on. Yeah, that's not really what I want. It doesn't have any sort of history on that. Yeah, I know. I guess tank car history with Shardice. <laughs> um, oh, we may, will you make Bradbury repaints for the box car? Maybe. Uh, it would. It might be good. Would make sense unless they're still producing them. Well, yeah, but anyway, I, I don't know. Let's have a look here. Ah, there we go, history. Um, okay. 1800s. Uh, 1999. 52. I mean, this looks pretty similar to these ones. Oops. I mean, I think that's probably close enough. Or these ones here. Okay, I think I think that's close enough. So now the quest now hmm, the way this uh, industry chain works is we've got the so crude oil needs to go here and then diesel needs to be picked up on the other side. So crude oil comes in from barge uh, by barge over here uh, over here. Um, and then that gets transferred over to these tanks. And we've got a, a crude oil pickup over here somewhere. I don't recall which one is which. One of the, I don't think we set it up, but one of these is going to be crude oil pickup. And the other one is going to be diesel drop off. And then, <coughs> sorry, and then cars full of crude oil need to be picked up, put in the, the yard and then pick, and then put on a, train to take them all the way down here to this yard and then they need to be switched and l and then unloaded over here and then other cars need to pick up the diesel and bring it back so if we are now tackling this industry chain I think it would be good to start at well actually if we start here we'll see how many we want to how many cars this is supposed to process per Per hour of gameplay time. So let's just play some. We, again, we might have already gone over some of this way back when we built this, but I'm going over it again now just to uh, make sure that it's all the way I still want it. So let's do it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That might work because we don't have that much space here. Well, I guess we do have until back there. I'll decouple the caboose here. Hold on. Decouple the caboose. So that I can then couple these together. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be, I think these are 10 cars. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So that'd be 16. Let's see how much space we have. If because I want the player to be able to unload a cut in one go here. And I don't think I really want many more because otherwise you could easily extend the line back this way to make this go a whole lot easier. <coughs> Sorry. So I think 16 cars, 16 cars seems reasonable, I think. Again, this doesn't mean that this is the uh, limited to this length of train here we can, of course, have more cars arrive and then be processed and then into put into the yard, more cars arrive, processed into the yard, and then we can have much longer batches going along here. So, but this is just for uh, just hourly capacity, really. So 16 cars, let's go with that. Um, I'm sure, uh, about it. Mm -hmm. 
But hey, hmm, code monkey, hello, welcome. So how much capacity does each car have? I need the calculator again, hold on. So this is 39,000 times 16. That is going to be the capacity. Now this one is the crude oil dump. Let's rename that to crude oil unloader. Oops. Unloader. And... Oh, do we not have... Oh, I see. With... Mm. What's the capacity on this then? Because um, it looks like we don't have the ability to change the capacity with the liquid, multiple industry liquids, unfortunately. That's 5, 8, 2,000. What do we need? Uh, so it's less than... So the maximum capacity here is less than uh, what we can load. So either we don't use the liquid one, which I do want to use because it's got the animation that I really like. So I guess... I guess we'll just have to... adhere to the numbers that are here. Although... Hold on, that might be... Hold on, hold on. If I go into... Okay, so this consumes crude oil. If I, if I set the start amount to 624... Well, 624,000. 624,000. That does work. And actually, no, it's... Ah, so for crude oil, we've actually got vast amounts more here than we, we do. It's because of the... For some reason, it's got the containers as the default load. I don't know why. Or aviation fuel, I think it was. Okay. So, it looks like... This is probably going to work. But let's just set the rate. We can set the rate. So if we divide this by 60... Actually... It needs to be divided by because every 30 seconds uh, this needs to be divided by 2 again so 5200 is the rate to consume 5200 and then over here the rate of production needs to be 5200 as well we'll set the actually this needs to be Uh, six to four thousand. Actually, this consumes diesel fuel. No, no, this one should be the producer for diesel fuel. Produces diesel fuel. Um, six to four thousand. What is the rate over here again. Uh, 5,200, okay. Produces 5,200 every 30 seconds. That's easy for you. Okay, so that should theoretically work. So let's... So what did we call this again? This was Fresh Pond Oils, of course. So this takes in uh, crude oil with 16 carloads per hour and takes out uh, diesel fuel, I think it's called. Diesel fuel with 16 carloads per hour as well. Now it gets the oil from uh, new tower port. Uh, actually, we don't have a. 
I think we should just have the oil transfer, maybe. No, oh, that's the wrong color. I wanted. <coughs> Sorry, I want to text. Oops, one second. There we go. Port. Um, yeah, I guess what? What are we gonna call it? New Star Port. Oil transfer, perhaps. So that's where it gets it from. And then it's going to deliver it back to that as well. Uh, but we may actually want other locations for diesel fuel to go as well. And that's a thing to consider. So, let's just set this up over here. So, I think I want... Which one do I want the pickup to be? I think I want the left one to be the crude oil pickup. So this is new starport oil transfer. Uh, crude oil loader. Oh, wait, hold on. Is this? Wait a minute. What is this? Why does this not have the other... What? Hold on, are we using different assets here? One second. Oh, we are! We're using the multiple industry here. We're using the multiple industry liquids on the other end? Why? Hold on, we've got to test this. Uh, we need to test, make sure that it actually... I want the one that plays the animation, and if this one's going to do it... If the other one's going to do it... Um, then... We might as well use that and then have the correct capacity set up here. So, quick test. It's classic liquid loader from from a city and country USA. It was used there, yes. Uh, I know, it's odd. I guess only the liquids one plays the animation? I don't know. I don't know. There might have been a reason why I used the other one there. Because I think the liquids one is an obvious choice to go with. But I might have just accidentally picked the other one. I don't know. It's a long time ago that we built that area as well. If both do, I'm going to replace them with the liquid one, um, the liquids one, because with that one I can actually, actually, hold on, I might not be able to choose the products, that might have been it. Anyway, let's just, let's just check, let's just check this, and then we'll do the setup for the transfer ones, and see if those play the animation and have the correct thing. Actually, hold on, let's just quickly change this over. Give you a little bit of audio. Okay, so these are all loaded with crude oil. How heavy is this, by the way? Ah, 745 tons. Interesting. Ah, yes. I think there is a train approaching, crossing. I think you're onto something there. Also, why does this look so... The angle here looks so... Pointy. Hmm. Although I suppose that is straight. I'll have to have a look at that. Tree, tree. Is there a spec 5 break it? I don't know. Okay, let's stop here. Okay, so this one has the animation. You can see the uh, 
tubes there. Let's just wait for it to unload. I don't know how long this takes. Okay, the crossing is stopping a car, that's good. Oh, it finished. Did it unload, actually? Yes, it did, good. Right, so next we're gonna have to, well, I'll have a quick look at the tracks there to figure out what's going on. But then we're going to have to, well, I'm going to have to set up the crude oil loading one. Yeah, let's set that one up with the transfer, uh, all transfer facility, and then we'll have to test and see if it actually has an animation for loading the crude oil there. If that one doesn't, then I'm going to have to exchange the liquid ones with the old multiple industry ones. Uh, right, so let's have a quick look. I'll have to move the uh, caboose, I think, once it's actually loaded in. Yeah, look, it looks a little broken there. Come on, just waiting for it to load, sorry about that. Brushed up against the microphone. It's been pretty much raining here non-stop the entire day. And fairly heavy rain as well. Okay, let's remove this. I doubt I'll be able to... Yeah, I can't... No, it is still connected. Hmm. Odd. Oh, why is that? Oh yeah, probably because of the caboose. Maybe also because of the engine, one second. Ah, this bit isn't straightened. One second, let's just wait for it to load. There we go. That's... Hold on. Oh yeah, I think... I think I only had the back bit straightened when I built this. Come on, update. There we go, and then when that changed, when that got fixed, uh, the the thing broke. Anyway, that that looks like it's fixed it now. Okay, so now let's set up the other one. Might as well bring the. Actually, you might as well uh, get some. Get the car asset to put over here. And let's put them along here. Oops. Hold on, what layer is this on? Oh yeah, session, I don't want session. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nope, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Um, do we have the... Okay, that number was... Is that the total? Uh, I'll have to redo that. Three nine thousand times sixteen. Yes, it was. Okay, so if we make this one, so this if there's a crude oil unloader, or uh, loader, sorry, crude oil. Uh, I guess liters. So the size is six to four thousand. And since this is supposed to load, let's have it be full up when it starts. Have it on that. Nope. Have it on. 
Ah, I think I remember now why I changed this because apparently I can't actually add the thing, the queue to the track. That would explain it. I can add it here. I can't add it to the track. That is unfortunate. So we're using liquids. Well, <clears throat> doesn't look like we can use this one. I think that's why I, yeah, that's why I changed it. See, it does make sense. Okay, now I need to replace this. Now, hopefully, I can play. I can connect these without it messing up any trackside objects. It should be okay because there aren't any trackside objects on this. Okay, so let's just zero out all of this. See, I knew that the the liquids one would be the obvious choice to go for. So. I knew that there must have been a reason not to do it. Oops. I just go from the bottom. That's probably going to be quicker this time. Okay. And the start amount as well need to be reset to zero. Logs. Yes, there are containers and stuff in this as well because this is the old multiple industries asset where it had a set amount of assets and you could basically use it for any of those. Okay, like that. Let's save. Okay, hold on. What did I... Did I call it something before? Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. Um, yeah. New... <laughs> what was it? It's tower port, of course. New tower port oil transfer crude oops, crude oil loader now this means it has to produce crude oil and we can only change the rate which was what 5200 i believe i believe that's the number we had from before. Uh, all right, then to be divided by two again. Yes, good. So then the start amount I'll set to six to four thousand. Oh, there's a lot of rain out there. So that's what it produces. And this one needs to consume. All right, we need to, hmm, this is the old one, hold on. Uh, I need to connect this up. That, did that mess anything up? No, good. And this one, this one may mess something up, might have the bumper go to the wrong end. No, that. That stayed, okay. New start about transfer table one. Not a transfer table. New star port oil transfer. Diesel. <coughs> I did spell that right, correct? Uh, yes. Diesel unloader. Save, and then I've got to zero this out as well, and then give it the correct 
thing to load. <laughs> Imagine if train simulator routes had this level of industry chains that actually worked. Hmm. This reminds me of the good old days when I streamed Unity development still, which I do want to do again, but I haven't finished the prototype of my next game that I want to work on yet. Uh, it's getting there, but it's not finished. And at the moment I can't really work on it, unfortunately. So there's the diesel unloader, so diesel fuel, rate of 5200, and that's pretty much all I can do here. Work on it? What's right? Oh, the next Unity game that I want to work, well, that I want to finish. So that would probably be the space one. But I, I haven't finished the prototype of that yet. So I don't want to start streaming it or, or publishing uh, progress updates on it yet. Because I made that mistake with uh, Ghostly Venture and then I didn't have the time to commit to it off stream. And then, well, it didn't really work out that well. Actually, we've got news tower port here. So, oh no, that's the passenger station. Okay. News tower port. Oil transfer. So, basically, it's the opposite of this. So, crew, so diesel fuel in, and then crude oil out. Um, and this needs to connect to fresh pond oils. Now, the question is, I mean, we, we, we already know that this is going to work, so we don't actually need to test anything with, with any of these cars. So, oh, I, I might as well leave them here. But anyway, um, oh, that'd be neat if you streamed it. I would love to, but I'd have to finish the, the well, two, uh, well, three, I guess, prerequisites, prerequisite number one. I would have to finish the prototype first to make sure that it's actually a game that I, one, have the technical knowledge uh, and experience to, to make so that I'm confident that I can actually finish it and I also yeah I also need to finish the prototype to get an idea on if the game's actually going to be fun so if it's worth actually finishing and also if it's within the scope that I can do as a solo developer so uh, that's prerequisite number one I need to finish the prototype secondly I would need to have significant time to dedicate to it offline because with uh, Ghostly Venture I wanted to do that but then I didn't end up ha having that and so I spent like, I don't know how many streams which translates to weeks just working on the brick texture which is quite frankly ridiculous because that isn't fun to watch. Yes, it might be fun just to interact uh, with with chat, but that's just... It's not fun to watch. There is no progress there. So I would have to dedicate time off, off stream, offline onto it. So that's the second prerequisite. I would have to have that. The third is I would have to have a slot in which to stream it which I don't think that I would have, considering how busy the streaming schedule is currently with trying to finish the MBR. 
So, yeah. I guess we could go back to Friday, but then I would have to wait a fortnight to play Minecraft, which I don't want. So, uh, next thing is probably next, which is, do we want more uh, diesel cars going to other locations on the map? I think that would be quite good. Um, because then we could have them as part of other uh, like local trains and stuff like that. So if we, for example, had a, a local train going up over to the, the paper mill or something like that, if we maybe dropped off like a couple of diesel cars over at the cement works, then I think that could work great. Could have the train coming over here, dropping over, dropping off a cart of cars, either, um, actually, hold on, can we, do we have a run around here, or is that not a thing that we have? Actually, the train, well, actually, we don't, do we? It's just, yeah, I think we only have one junction here to get out onto the main line. Hmm. That might be something we either have to fix or... I guess, I suppose it works. If, yeah, we can come come over here, then cut off a um, couple of diesel tankers while we carry on ahead in the universe. That'd be like a, a switcher coming in from the cement plant, collects the, the wagons uh, and takes them out into the yard. Although then the empty ones would have to be collected and we can't just drop them off on the main line. So, actually, does this have... Wait, this doesn't have frogs? Did I never place the frogs on this? Also, this doesn't appear to be straightened correctly either. Hmm. Huh, I don't think that any of this has frogs. That is a good realization to make. Huh. Yeah, none of this has frogs. Okay. So, anyway, so either we add in a, a siding here, which I don't really want to do, or local train continuing up ahead has to come in this way, like maybe drop off leave off a cut off of cars on the main line, come in, go around the loop, collect the cars, or drop off cars, and then come back around and then reverse back out, couple onto the train and then continue. I think that's probably a better operation to have here. Yes, then we could do that with some of the diesel cars and then continue on with whatever else we've got loaded. Um, over to what was it? New Washington over here, or what? What did I call it? I think it was this was called New Washington, um, which is probably going to be either general goods or bread or something over here, and then uh, the the paper mill here. Which, by the way, I may change a little bit because I might want to add like the because I've got a actually I don't have it downloaded here. One second. Um, my not not of custom. I wanted my content. Uh, I want to be available on DLS because I made a this acidic waste tank load uh, specifically for the paper mill on a different route where uh, I think sulfuric acids are brought here and then the uh, acidic waste gets taken away and I think that might be interesting to put on here as well, which I made this after I built that. I made it for, for a different map that I started. So that might be a, an interesting thing to add. So then we could uh, would have two reasons to have tankers running on here. So, yes. Okay, it was fun to watch, um, but before that. Uh, or, oh, actually, do the lids on those cars open? I don't know. Did they fill up? I don't think so. It was fun to watch. Maybe once then we are done? Maybe. It won't take so long now. It won't take long now. Well, it won't take so long now. See, 
Pappmühle. That's an insult. <laughs> um, a fun one. Was the other piece straightened? I, I did correct it. Frogs? Ha! <laughs> the ones from Orion. Um, einverstanden. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, like they're off. Bit allowing that. I wonder, are there any liquid products with an actual mesh? I do not know. Anyway, I think that that would be good. So, delivering a bit of diesel to the uh, to the to this place to the cement works. I think that that is good. Now we've just got to find a place for it. I think. Mm, therefore, I am. Yes, I know. Um, I, I do realize that point. So it might be good having. I guess we could maybe have it over here or something. Oh, look, this is actually animated. This rotates. Huh, interesting. Anyway, I think it might be good to have this somewhere over here. Although we'll need... Actually, maybe we can... Now that's clearly for the cement to go over. Let's see, where could we connect it to? I guess maybe if I did put it here, like so, then we could have a track coming from here and then connecting in here maybe? Oh, that did, did that connect right? Yeah, but that's too sharp of an angle. I'll have to change the rotation. Oh, come on, please. Please update. Oh, that is, that's not what I wanted. Come on, tracks. <laughs> I think therefore I am live streaming. <laughs> Animated? Whoa! I know exactly what you mean. Come on, please load. Hopefully it's not actually bugged out the tracks. No, it hasn't. Good. Right, so I think to have a, an acceptable curve, maybe having this here would work. Like so. I'll of course have to clear out this area of splines a bit. And redo it a little bit, which um, it's good. It does. It you might think that it feel it might feel um, bad having to redo a uh, scenery on an area that you've already done, but actually, this does make it feel more alive, like I previously said. So it actually does feel good. Okay, and then let's let's connect. Like, I'll just get rid of these bushes here. Hold on. Okay, let's connect this. And a little bit of texture work over like that or something. And I've connected like so. And then a little bit of maybe the, the city grass texture on the edges, something like that. Then I'll pick up the... actually, hold on, I'll need... Let's have this continue on straight for a little bit. Actually, let's use... Uh, that might work. Like so. And then I think I will put on a bumper here. Just like that. I'll quickly, I will quickly have to, oh right, because it's the filter, hold on, I'm going to get rid of the filter, quickly paint on ballast texture, mm, 
Maybe it's a bit much. Hold on, just a little bit like so. I think that looks good. Um, should the truck continue beyond the fixed truck industry? A little bit, yeah. Will you put cistern trucks there too? Or trailers? Move some bushes, maybe? Hmm. I think it's okay like that. I'll put some of the uh, containers here. Like, hold on. Refinery tower. Yeah, these refinery tower. Or actually, maybe. Do we have smaller ones? Yeah, these ones might work quite well. So if I put these over here like that, maybe move them into the ground, like so. Actually, maybe the other way around would be better. that and then we don't even really need pipes connecting considering that this already has pipes going into the the floor so the pipes probably just come in inside this concrete thing although it might look good having some let's have a quick look and let's grab the yellow pipe I know that this isn't going to be a long way for the oil to be delivered, but it will make it more interesting for both for for uh, building trains as well as switching out the industry here. It doesn't really matter that much how far apart they are. Mm, that's too high. Hold on, maybe a bit of a narrower gray one might for work a bit better here. What's the oh oh the oh the supports floating? Mm. I think I might add this over here then, just so that the support isn't actually floating anymore. So something like that. Make a school. Hello. It is going quite well. Thank you. I'm adding a diesel. Uh, unloading point to the cement works. Mm, I think that's okay for now. I might add more stuff here later. But for now, I think that's okay. So now let's see how many, how many of these cars do we think should go here? I think maybe three. I think three is enough. In which case, I need to accommodate that. So... Okay, calculator. Uh, hold on, I'll read the other chat. Floor or ground? Hmm. With floor, I always picture an indoor scene. Yeah. Yeah, apart from me and Charadice, you're the first individual to join the Dice stream. Yes. Well, technically, Code Monkey joined too, but he's not in chat yet. Hmm. Right, okay, so this loads 39000. Zero, zero, zero times three, so that's the capacity, and this should be per hour. So if I divide that by 120, 975 is the rate at which this needs to consume, but I need to actually zero itself first.
Okay, and we need to add this number to the rate of the other industries as well to support this. Okay, so what was the number? 975 consumes diesel. 975. Yeah, it's every 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, actually, let's. we need to rename this. I've been working on my trains map a little bit ago. It's called WV and SM. It's a branch line. Ah, is it set in Maine? Question mark. Western Valence, Southern Maine, based in the US. Interesting. Okay, so I need to go to Roger Zero Co. And this is in, so it takes gravel in, also takes in, uh, hold on. It, yeah, good. <laughs> I thought so. Takes in diesel fuel, namely three carloads per hour. And it gets that from fresh pond oils. Which means that fresh pond oils needs to um, process three more cars. So that's 19 carloads per hour. 19, 19. And then this top oil transfer needs to uh, export 19 as well. So we need to add those, that's 700, that 975 to those three places. Also, let's name this industry while we're at it. Diesel fuel unloader. Save. Wait, all right, um, to my message? Yeah, oh, right, nice, good, good, good. Okay, so let's head over back to the uh, fresh ponds or whatever it's called. And I need to add that, so that was, yes, 975. Uh, actually, hold on. Six one seventy five. Six one seventy five. And this one. Hold on. Why does that consume? That's a diesel pickup. We don't need to, it to consume diesel. It needs to produce diesel. Okay, 6175, 6175, and what's the amount again, hold on, uh, actually I'll have to change that anyway, one second. Actually, I'll, I'll update the other ones first. Over here. This is the crude oil loader. This needs to produce, so it produces this, okay. 6175. Okay, so now I need to fix the start amount. Uh, so, how much does this have again? So, this has 39,000 times, it was 16, we've got three more, so times 19. It's 7 for 1000. Start amount here. 
Hold on, why does the crude oil... That's strange. Hold on. 741000. 741000. Does this change the number up here as well? Oh, it does! Ah, that explains it. That's a bit odd, okay. So this over here... You need to have 7 for 1000 as well. Okay. And that works. Now we've got the, well we should have, the correct amount of diesel flowing. Yes. So now do we need uh, any more? diesel cars heading anywhere else in the map. So we've got diesel cars heading over here. Got diesel cars heading all the way over here. I think it might be good to have diesel cars head over to the gravel pit. I think that could be good. Because then that's another thing to switch out at the at Nothasia as well. So we might need to go through the process again. Actually, did I? Yes, all transfer. I did. Uh, and I did uh, add that up here as well. Good. Do you have a water gravel pit? Sorry? Diesel. I think diesel could be useful here. Have to figure out where, though. Hmm. I guess we could maybe have it here. So we just have it like positioned here and then we have like the, the tanks up here. Or maybe that's too far away. Hold on. Although I don't really know which other place it would fit into. I guess we could maybe have them in this grassy bit, but that's too... No, that's too, too, too little space. We could have it over here, but that's too far away. I do think that over here is probably behind the crane. What do you mean? Back here? There's not really any space back here. I think maybe having it over here is the best solution. So I'll have to wait until the tracks have uh, reappeared. There we go. Something like this. Then we might might be good to have another junction, so we have it coming off there. Oh right, that reminds me, I still need to do the I still need to do the junction lever on the other side. Hmm. And then have that connect back up here. Now I'll need a tiny little piece of straight track there. Might as well add the frogs to this as well while I'm already at it. That's already straightened, good. Uh, yeah, road access, it's probably just going to connect up here. Or something like that. Or maybe through here. Maybe that's easier. Okay, let's move some of these trees out of the way. Uh, right. All I need for this plan are tracks, frogs, and a little bit of string. <laughs> I 
Okay, so actually, can I move this into the ground a little bit? No. Okay, so in that case, I'll probably add more, two more spine points here, just so that the uh, junctions are a little bit more level. Okay, and let's get the junction objects, like the switch objects. Need one more over here. Is that that is rotated the correct way, good. Then the frogs. String? That's not what was meant by railroad ties. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Adding industries, as you can see. So left needs to go on the right side, like so. Right needs to go on the left side, like so. Then on the other side as well. Right needs to go on the left. Left needs to go on the right. And then let's quickly do a tiny little bit of detailing here before I set up the uh, industry properly. Can I have a road sneak through here? Maybe. Actually, I think that will work. I will have to add a few more spine points here, and maybe, yeah, when I, when I do, I will have to replace these road assets at some point because the shadows are just too dark on these. Set up the industry property properly. <laughs> okay, so just something like this. And over here, maybe have this be like so, come on, update. Let's just have it connect like that, like it does on the other side. And then a little bit of texture work underneath. And then I'll want this area to have probably that same tank object as well. Actually, that's the thing I forgot to do. I forgot to add back some of the grass splines around the other area. Looks a bit odd. Uh, see the road in where they connect? Mm, maybe. But a lot of the road connections look like that, and I'll have to replace that road asset anyway with one that doesn't have the weird black shadows. And at that point, I am probably have to go over a lot of these and fix them anyway, so... Okay, and in this instance, should I keep the concrete on this, or should I move it down so that it's in the ground? Hmm. I think moving it down into the ground is probably a better solution here. Or the best solution here. Move that slightly, like so. Or actually, maybe have it be rotated like that. Maybe that would work quite nicely. Yeah, like that. And then I just have a little pipe connecting it over here. If necessary. Again, it might not be. Might just add a little bit of other uh, another texture in here. A little flex of texture along here, or something like that. Um, right. You're back. Hello, welcome. <clears throat> but move it down. 
or if not, add walls around it so it doesn't float. Yep, like so. Um, do I need? Yeah, let's let's go back and have a look at the the pipe and see if I can fit one fit one in in there as well. Also, do what do the grass objects look like here? Actually, I suppose. Hmm. I suppose the. Actually, yeah, I do need probably need one. Like one grass spline along there or something like that. Come on, update. Or is that the wrong spline? Hold on. No, it is the right one. Like so, oh, also I need a, because I do have dwarf signals along this entire thing. I do want a dwarf signal uh, there. Okay. Now, I require this spline. Hmm. Um... Yahoo and Yeo and Yeah uh, and Yeha Wan Diaui or something like that. I've never heard that expression before. Is it similar to Yabba Dabba Doo? Or, or maybe it is similar to supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Who knows? You probably do. You and you he. Oh right. Um, well, I'm pretty much just setting up industries and putting them in the spreadsheet, which is here, so that I've got all the industries here and the products that it takes in and out and car loads and stuff like that. Because that is important for the last area that needs to be built on this map. Okay, I think that looks quite good. Could maybe it's a little tiny bit more detailing, but for now, let's just set this up. I think maybe three cars is plenty over here as well. So I'll give it the same setup as the L1. Yeah, let's zero these out first. Three carloads per hour, yes. I think that's going to be good. Oops. Okay, so... Do I still have the... No, I don't. Okay. So let's quickly look up the values on the other industry and then copy them to that one. So this one has... So it consumes that. So it's 975. So it consumes diesel, rate of 975. And then I need to add that to, uh, hold on, let, let, let's, just, let's just finish setting this up first. So what's this place called again? Um, Crags Gravel Pit. So Crags Gravel Pit, diesel, fuel unloader so we need to go here and this in addition to all of that also um, as you know it takes in diesel fuel um, three carloads per hour 
Actually, I can just copy this from down here. From Fresh Pond Oils. Came for trains, stayed for spreadsheets. No, it's extra. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the the whole railroad thing didn't give it away. No clue what Chalice is doing. It's like another language. <laughs> I'm figuring out carloads of um, freight that go into and out of all the industries so that it hopefully all adds up. <laughs> So that all the, the industries produce just enough stuff that is actually needed uh, by other industries. So that if, so that if, well, for one thing, in multiplayer scenarios, it's going to be uh, easier to work with. Plus, uh, I will then have a reference for how many cars to put on the trains for the different industries for the sessions that I make. So, for example, if there's a local going up to up this uh, gravel pit branch, whatever it's called, up to what Silver Falls, then I know that I can attach three uh, tank cars full of diesel fuel, because I know that the gravel pit will need that, well, or, or at least the maximum of that for for uh, a time period. I know that here the time period is hour, which is for uh, like for the multiplayer sessions, like if across an hour-long multiplayer session, it will aver it will need the, those many cars to stay completely filled. That's just a thing that we came off, uh, up with off the top of our heads, my head, probably. Um, but it's probably going to work. If not, I can change the numbers. But I think this should be good. So, <clears throat> that's what it takes in. Now, I need to... I need to add that number again to the um, clear ponds, or fresh ponds, sorry. Uh, because it now, instead of 19 cars, it will have to do 22 cars. And that's just needed for the pickup here. So, Yeah, okay, so uh, I need the number for the, the for tankers again, the, the load number, which is 39,000 times 22, okay, so that's 858,000, 858, then divide that by 120, which is the rate, so that's the rate of 7,150. No, that's 7,150. And then I need to change the rate over on this side as well. Uh, 7,150. 7, and then I need to change the numbers over on... Actually, hold on, what was the, the first number again? One second. Um, Gravel pit branch. It's n now to think about. Now to think about it, I gotta get some mech and BNM and bar train. I have no third party stuff. I don't know what those numbers mean. Sorry. Oh, do you know? I don't know. Um, since it's based in Maine, probably operators, but I don't know what those um, abbreviations stand for. Right, so the first number here is 858,000. 858,000, okay. So now I need to go over here to the transfer facility. And over here on the crude oil loader. Go here, 858,000. And the other number was 7,150. There we go. So now I need to update the numbers over here. So yeah, this, instead of produce, uh, processing 19 cars, it processes, processes 22 cars. And then the crude oil export from the transfer needs to be changed to 22 cars as well. Main Central, Mac, Boston and Maine, uh, Bangor and Aroostock. Oh, right, I remember that now. Road names. Yeah, I do remember that now. Sorry, I had forgotten that those. Right, so 
That's good. Do we need any more diesel to go anywhere on the map? So, so far we've got diesel going from down here over to the cement plant. Of course, the most of it going over, back over the, to the transfer point, going onto the barges. And we've got a little bit of it going up to the gravel pit. I would say maybe we could have some going over to the airfield here, but that would need aviation fuel since that is actually a product and I don't want to set that up. So they're getting that by truck. Now we could have the a little bit more diesel carry on up here. Actually, it might make sense to have a bit of diesel going up to the lumber area, considering that a lot of the machines that are being used for the forestry will probably need some sort of diesel thing here as well. Although I don't know space-wise if that would really fit, or scenery-wise. Got any tips for reskinning for steam trains on trains for Mac? Uh, no, sorry. I haven't reskinned a locomotive myself. Kango might be the one to speak with there. He's reskinned the P2 quite a lot and a few other ones as well. So what would it look like? Okay, those are definitely too big. We need, I, I'm thinking maybe like one car load or something like that going up here. So if I just look for, actually maybe, do, do, do JR have some smaller tanks, they might have JR fuel tanks. Those ones are too large. Hold on. Um, chemical company, no. Generic tank. Something like that, yeah. So, I don't think that the big multiple industry the with actually animation actual animation thing is going to work here i think instead having just a few pumps with this tank next to it i think that would work much better now we could literally just have that here actually how far okay we've actually got plenty of space here so yeah if we had Maybe a tank there. And then the multiple industry. And I'll just use the short one here. Hold on, did I place it? I think I might have, did I? Yeah, I did. Just slow to update, unfortunately. So just have that there. Maybe have it as a separate siding over to the side like this or something like that. And then rotate it slightly. I'll have to figure out placement of the pumps. But I think it's I think that's plenty of space for if we do only have one car coming in here. And we do have Actually, do we, do we? Do we have run around? Yeah, we do, of course, because it, it's one track, it's single track coming up here, so this is this actually functions as the run around track here. So if the train pulls in, comes around, we can actually push a a tanker car up here to be unloaded. Plus, we can collect it as well if we're coming the other way. So let's just wait for it to load in. Well, it's always important to ask the asset's original authors before publishing repaints, unless their description states that they are freely reskinable. Mm -hmm. That's what I always do. So they may not be alright with a, as they may not be alright with them being published. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so if we have this coming up to maybe there, might be a good point for it to merge in. Come on. So is this straightened here? It looks like it, yes. Which means that this needs to also be straightened. Then I'll need a... 
correct switch there. So I'll put on the frogs. So left goes on the right. Right goes on the left. I think I'll add a spline point in here as well, just so that that's a little bit more level. There we go. Actually, I need to reposition these slightly. Hmm. Okay, that... Actually, yeah, that works. Great. Now, I don't really want this to go too far into this direction, but I think it might be good just to have it kind of be become buried in the in the floor, something like that. And then I'll put an invisible signal there. Because I don't really want to have a bumper back here. I don't think that this area needs it. So like that. Um actually hold on. There we go. Oops, that's not the wrong one I wanted. That actually that's fine. So now I need one of those pumps. So let's head down to the transfer area. Uh, actually, no, not the transfer area. Uh, let's head... Actually, no, that, that, that does work because we have the pumps over here for the grain. Come on. Oh, there we go. UK depot fueling pump. Good. Actually, yeah, because that loads in the... That's the... Hold on. Did we not? Oh, okay, so we set up the, the grain one. We didn't set up the the flower one. Actually, no, we did. It's just, I'm just clicking on the wrong one. Sorry. Actually, no, we didn't, because... Hold on. I guess we never finished setting that up. One second. Yeah, because it's not in here. Is it in here? Hmm. It is, but we never... That's what I'll have to... I'll have to look into that in a moment. One second. Let's first place the the pump over here. So... I think that having the pump there and then having this kind of uh, connect into that, like so. I think that that works quite nicely. Even if it's at a bit of an odd angle for this. Otherwise it would have to be over here and then... Actually, I suppose I could rotate it like that and so it's aligned this way. That could work. Yeah, that works much better. Okay, so that's the little diesel tank that they've got up here. Um, okay, so yeah, let's just set that up now, which means we'll need a, a name for this area up here. Maybe just Milton Logging, Mil Milton Logging Co. I think that that works for this area. Uh, Milton Logging Co. Company. Milton Logging Company. Uh, okay. So, actually I'll switch that back over. We don't need that anymore. So, Milton Logging Co. Diesel on, well, diesel fuel 
unloader. Save. Right. Error, grass alignment collision. <laughs> that diesel tank, it adds so much. Yes, it does. I agree. And we need, we only need enough for one car to be unloaded here per hour. So uh, I need to go back to this car so that I've got the numbers. There's also a diesel loader for locomotives. Um, what do you mean? Yeah, at the yard, at the at New Panzans yard, there's a diesel servicing facility that also has sand. Also, will the grass climb be fixed? What do you mean? What do you mean, will it be fixed? Uh, diesel fuel. I need the size to be, well, actually, is that I need to align, I need to make that be liters first. Then the size, 39,000. And tracks, of course, track one. Unload. And then it should do that. And then I'll have to, this, okay, so 39,000 divided by 60, 650, so 650 every minute, and there we go, self complete. Next to the diesel tank, uh, grass of the tracks, oh this, oh I want that to stay this way, it's just a bit overgrown there, it doesn't get that much stuff over it. In fact, to make it a little bit clearer that it's intentional, I think I'm going to move this over to the side a little bit like this. There we go. Now we've got it going through the grass up here. I think that that works quite well. Right, so that works. Now we've got to add one more car. Actually, hold on, I've got to put this in here. So this is what it takes in. So it takes in one carload of diesel fuel, which I then need to add to these three again. So let's head down there. Nope, it's rotated the wrong way. I, do, I don't want to sink it in a little bit. I think that having it be that tall looks quite good in that area because it is supposed to look very overgrown. I quite like it the way it is. Okay, so this needs... Hold on, let me get this window back up. And let's go over here. Okay, so going down to crude oil production. So, numbers. So, I need to add, so we've got uh, 858,000 plus 39,000, that's 397, uh, sorry, 897,000, 897,000, and divided by uh, 120, that needs to be 7475. Okay, so the number I need to remember is 897,000. Okay. Uh, this one first. Consumes, no, it produces that. So, uh, eight, nine, seven thousand. The other number was seven thousand four hundred seventy-five. Seven thousand four hundred seventy-five. So add that over to this one as well. Seven thousand four hundred and seventy-five. Which means that this now handles twenty-three carloads per hour. All the way like that. 
There we go. So now let's fix this because apparently I never put in the correct stuff here for the flower loader. It's also not named correctly. It needs to be lowercase and in square brackets. Flower loader. So flower, not that one, the other one. There we go. And this needs to be produced from nothing. And that needs to be items. Load into vehicle. So how many car loads does the flower powering handle? It's 33 car loads. Okay, so each car loads uh, this amount. So I require an appropriate size. So that's one, three, four, five thousand times what do we say? Thirty three cars? Yeah. So it's four 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 three eight. So four four three eight five thousand. Four four three eight five thousand. And then divide that by sixty. Um okay, that's the how much it needs to consume per minute. So that's 739,750. 739,750. I hope I'm doing this right. If I find out that all of these calculations have a, a glaring flaw in them that I just somehow miss and I have to redo all of this, well, then that's going to be clip worthy. Um, okay, but anyway, I think that that's good. But let's see, let's check that I don't need to, okay, I need to rename this one as well because I forgot how I named these. Okay, so is that the diesel chain finished? So we've got, actually how many Twenty-three cars. Let's just have a quick look down here, and uh, just so we can visualize how many cars that actually is. So I think these are sixteen. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So this. So the, all of these tankers here, from here, all the way along here, all the way along here, all the way along here, all the way to here, that's how many tankers, um, so hourly, on a, like a, on a multiplayer session or something, this is how many tankers hourly get filled up at the transfer area with crude oil, brought over here, unloaded, and then how many are loaded with diesel fuel as well and then get distributed across the map currently, unless we add more. So, okay, let's see. We've got some going down there on trains. We've got some going up here, most going up here. Got a few coming over there. We've got one coming up there. So the only other place I can think of that might be good to have diesel fuel is over here, where the logs will get loaded. Because we've got the, yeah, this is the, the log loader. But I don't really know. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because we've got the, the tugboat over here. We've got this facility. It really does need to be connected in that way, I think. Especially since there is no road connection here other than via flatbed. So I think that this does actually need 
to have some amount of, of diesel fuel delivered to it. This is going to be tricky to fit in. Unless, of course, I used the just the normal multiple industry here and I used the pump again so that we can... Mm, that's a bit too long. So, because I did want to have some cars being loaded onto flatbeds here as well, which is actually an, uh, a thing that I should make a note of. But I think we can put like another pump here, like maybe one or, or, or two, I think maybe one. I think maybe one car would be enough because then we've got, if we've got a, a freight train coming up this way, we've got one diesel car to drop off here and then one to drop off further up there. And that will make for some interesting consists as well, I think. So let's just do that. Can I connect this without issue? The answer is yes. Completely random. Anyway, right, I need the tank uh, from up here, yes. So yeah, this, so we load logs up here and then we're also going to load logs down here as well. So both of them, both of these areas are going to load logs. Now, as for the tanks, do I want the tanks to be over on this side? Will that work? Or, is that, are, those, or are they going to be in the way? Hmm. I think that's going to work, but, uh, hold on, where would this car be positioned? Like, if it's, because if it's too far away, yeah, I think I've got to move these over just a little bit so that the multiple industry can actually get the car, like definitely get the car. Okay, then I need the pump object again. Uh, JR generic tank. Can you roll that? Wait, you already have two tanks, yet they need only one car? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. I guess we could do two cars, but then it would be a hassle to unload, considering that there aren't any sidings down there. You'd have to pick up one car, bring it all the way down here, unload it, then come all the way back, put it on a different siding, then come back all the way, connect the other car, unload that, and then come back, put it away. And I think that that's just gonna be a little bit of a hassle. Hmm, I don't know. If I do only have one tank, it looks a little I don't know. It feels like more would be used up here. Doesn't feel enough. What do you mean, so the half height? Then it would be less capacity again. Although I suppose it doesn't have to be two car loads. It could just be, I don't know. I think you're just trying, see, I think the, the difference here is that you want it to actually be less capacity, whereas I, I don't. <laughs>
So I just have this here. Don't know how they got the hose under the under the pipe there. That's interesting. <laughs> um, can I, if I if I roll that the other way, can I make that make more sense? Not really, because then, although maybe it wouldn't float if I moved this further back. Hmm, I suppose that works. Okay, so, yeah, I think maybe maybe one car is okay. I was just looking at this tank over here as well, and this looks like it requires a little bit more than that. Just all the machines running here constantly. But, maybe not. Now, I just thought it'd make more sense if the upriver logging bit was only has one diesel tank and the needs just one car. Be the same for the lumber mill. It's not a lumber mill or sawmill. This is a log pickup location. This is not a sawmill. I know that there are planks around, but that's just because this object that has the um, the key for loading logs has the has that has those already part of it. It's it's one thing. So yeah, this is just a log pickup location. So the logs come down the, the log chute up there, then get pulled along by a tug over here, and then get loaded onto a train here. So it does the same thing. Okay. So yeah, let's just set up this industry down here. So what what should we call this one? Logyard? Mm, I don't know. Maybe we could incorporate the, the like the dam into the name of it. You could just place log stacks on top of the lumber planks. Mm, maybe. We'll see. I mean, that's a sort of thing that I might need to go back and, and revisit here as well. Um, how about dam water logs? Dam water logs. <laughs> what about that? Hmm. XD. <laughs> Do you like it? Or dam water logging. Um, I don't know, the dam doesn't have a, a name yet. And since there aren't really going to be any, isn't really going to be an, an industry on the dam, I don't think that it really needs to get one either. What lottery? Mm, no. I think dam. Huh. Logging. Or logs. I think logs might be better considering this one's already called logging. Damn water logs. Hmm. Uh, diesel fuel unloader. And now we just have to copy the exact same numbers as the other one. Actually, hold on, I'll add the product first. Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay, 
Now I need to copy values by hand, of course. So 650 rate. Okay, of course, 650 rate, and then there's just, just the uh, size of the, the load of the car. So processes, 650 rate. And then I think it was 39,000, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that looks correct. So that's what needs to come up here. And then I'll delete this because I don't want that there. Okay. Although actually, hmm. I may need to, this main because this needs to be a, uh, <laughs> yeah, because if I want cars to be loaded and unloaded here as well from flatbeds and things like that, then I'll need, it needs, it'll need to be the same industry track. So I'll need to put that in the name. So how about like that in brackets? So diesel fuel unloader and then a new set of brackets, car transfer. I think that's good. Great Vista Dam. Maybe call it Great Vista Dam, maybe. But I wouldn't even know where to put that name because there isn't a Yeah, it's where you transfer the cars. Car transfer? Sure. So... Okay. Uh, oh, we've gone past the time limit. So I'll just quickly add that extra car to the... Uh, industries one more time. Okay, so needs to be nine seven thousand plus thirty nine thousand. Uh, oh, ninety three six thousand. Ninety three six thousand, and then that divided by one twenty, seven thousand eight hundred. Okay, so the number I need to remember is uh, 936,000. Ninety-three, six thousand, and then the rate is uh, 7,800. Okay, so now I just need to update it here. So instead of 23, it's 24 cars handled. So I might as well just add one more car to this thing here as well. Put a platform sign on it without supports in the center of it, at the very top. Mm. Maybe, we'll see. Mm. Which one would be good? I sure a platform sign and not the Actually, what would it what would it look like on this sign? Oop, hold on. Hmm. 
Yeah, that could work. Although I don't know how high up this will need to go. Oh, this is the maximum height of objects, 50 meters. Well, I guess it'll just have to connect up to this, like that, some, somehow here. Unfortunate. Also, maybe that one's a bit too big. Yeah, that's a bit too big. Um, the other objects have, have no limit or much higher limit. Maybe it's those. I have no idea what they would be. VR signs. VR signs? Isn't that a bit too small? Actually, would just about fit. Nope, 50 meter limit. I guess I'll just have to go on here. have to try to get this as close as I can, which is a little difficult considering how far away I've got to be zoomed for this to work. It looks like I can only place it in that, in that uh, distance there. I think that's probably close enough there. There you go. Grand Vista Dam. Now there's a sign on it. Although, is that center centered? Hold on. Don't think it is. I'll need to... Yeah, I need to uh, put it to the, towards the right a little bit more. It's really difficult to see with this pattern. Like that. Yeah, that's more centered. There you go. Now there's a sign on it. Right, so I think that that is the uh, diesel chain finished. Oh, there's the sign there, okay. So, right, so uh, crude oil comes from here, 24 cars go down here, then a couple of cars go up here, like three cars go up there, and then uh, 16 cars go there, and then we've got, actually, does that add up? Hold on. We said 16 going there, 3, 19. Yeah, because we've got three more cars going up there, which is 22. I've got one more car going here, and then one more car going all the way up there. So we've got four car, five cars going up this way, 16 cars going there, and 3 cars going there. I quite like that. That feels good. We're going to get some really quite long trains on this route, which I'm quite happy about. And they're all going to have destinations as well. So, I mean, not all of them. I mean, we do have off-map access, so... I can have any length trains that I want running on here, like for AI or stuff like that. But for multiplayer sessions, for example, we're going to have long trains. We're going to have long trains that actually have destinations, which is quite good. Okay, so that's enough for today. So with that, thank you all very much for watching. 
And on Thursday night, yes, Thursday night, we'll continue with this. We'll probably uh, finish off the grain, uh, the grain chain, because while we do have the grain arriving here and flour being delivered down here and up, um, well, yeah, down there and up here, we don't actually have the grain set up to come from the farms over here yet. So that needs to be finished. And then we'll do some other stuff as well. Maybe maybe we'll we'll go into uh, where the bread actually gets delivered to. That might be a good one. Anyway, so also yes, I did think about maybe having a destination for the the uh, diesel fuel over here as well. However, There are trucks that can deliver it this way, and that would be more efficient, I think, if it's only such a short distance. Anyway, yes, tomorrow, MC, Minecraft, yes. Um, so, good night. Bye-bye.